there everybody. Welcome to the Mid-Tempo Jam here on this Monday, February 27th, 2023. Bluegrass in the future. Okay, well, if you were with me on the slow jam, you're all good and warmed up. And if you're just joining us right now, welcome. I'm going to double check on the live streams right quick and then we'll get started with a good old Flat and Scruggs number called Gonna Settle Down in the key of G. That's our first song of the mid-tempo jam here. Okay, we're live on Facebook. That's good. Expand this so I can see your comments. And I will double check the YouTube channel here. And we are live on YouTube. Okay, I am on location here in Denver, Colorado, and I am without my truck. I had a transfer case issue that I had repaired in San Diego back in Hummel, our trustworthy family mechanic, and it was a very expensive job, and I got to Colorado and realized it wasn't working. Four-wheel drive is not working. So here I am, 1,200 miles away from the mechanic who did the job, and I had no choice but to take the old truckie to the dealership. And they've had it for over a week. So it is one of those situations where uh, I'm really, really trying to keep a good perspective on it, and they don't even know when it's going to be done. So and I haven't even gotten a diagnosis from them yet. So that's my sad story. Otherwise, everything is going wonderfully. It's... Um, a beautiful life and there's lots of opportunities out there. So here we go. I would advise you if you don't have a diesel vehicle and you're thinking about buying one, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Unless you have a mechanic in town who is available because there are no diesel mechanics. They're all booked. So there you go. That's my, that's my lesson for you today. Um, we're going to get started on... Going to settle down in the key of G, I'm going to find a good click track, and I'll kind of run you through this one. So in the key of G, it goes like this. One and a one, four and a one. One and one and a five. One would go something like one, two, three. kickoff can be very simple. I don't want you to be intimidated by tempos or by anything that I'm playing. Your kickoff could be... It can be very simple, just getting the melody notes in there, right? So whatever your skill set is, I want you to be able to adapt and just dive in and make it happen. That's, that's how this goes. And then you can keep practicing, keep working on your kickoffs, keep working on your lead playing on whatever instrument you're on, right? Okay, so wherever you're at and whatever instrument you are holding on to right now, go ahead and kick us off. If you're playing bass, you're playing bass, that's great. And if you're just playing rhythm, that's totally fine. Play rhythm. But if you are playing a lead instrument here, kick us off on Gonna Settle Down in the Key of G. A one, two, one, two, three. Take it 
Tonight I'm all alone, no place to call my home. I don't have no one to love me anymore. I wanna pack up my grip and take a long, long trip back to the one that I love so. Oh, I long to go back to my darling, back to the one I love so well. I know she'll be my wife and we'll settle down for life, for she's the one that means the world to me. I got it. Forget the day I left and went away. You told me I'd be sorry some old day. I found this to be true, so I'll let it back to you. Sweetheart, I'm tired and I want to settle down. Oh, I long to go back to my darling. Back to the one I love so well. I know she'll be my mid-tempo jam here. Very good. Um, I'll Love Nobody By You. So this is a Jim and Jesse song that typically goes in the fast jam because it's, it's a quicker song, but we'll do a little mid-tempo version here. I'll uh, find a good tempo. It'll just be a tish bit quicker than we just were, not much. So this is going to feel really slow if you're used to playing this song, um, but it goes like this. One and four and five, five, one. That's the whole song. Very simple, uh, simple lyrics, simple changes, and just a delightful number. And a good one to sing in harmony, duet style harmony, as Jim and Jesse did. So I hope you're singing along with me if you know the words. Uh, my kickoff might go something like one, two, one, two, three. <laughs> playing banjo you probably got a good kickoff on this one if you're playing fiddle you know what you're doing guitar players we don't typically kick off songs I mean sometimes it happens uh, in a lot of those Stanley Brothers recordings and and of course like on my albums and, but it's not as much of a traditional bluegrass thing so so uh, part of my mission here is catching up the guitar players on how to do that either way uh, whatever instrument you are playing 
Uh, go ahead and kick us off here on I'll Love Nobody But You in the key of G. One, two, one, two, three. We have Red Wing. Now, how, why have we not played Red Wing in ages? This is a great tune. And, uh, you know, uh, every Friday or, or Thursday night when I sit and I make the set lists, it's always just whatever comes to mind. As things come up through the week, often I'll just, I'll, I'll start filling it in if, if someone sends a request or I get a good idea. Uh, but here we go, Red Wing. That, that flashed into my head. And uh, let's play it. So... In the key of G, a one and a one and one, four and a one, five, five, one, one, two, dominant five, one and a one, four and a one, five and a one, and five and a one, and a four and a four and a four, and a four one and a five. It's just a four one five one on the B part. The A part has that, I call it a two dominant. It's an A7, it's just a dominant seventh version of the two chord. 
five of the five. Lots of different ways to say that, but uh, if you say two, that's usually what bluegrass would say, it's the two. But I specify so you don't think it's a two minor. It's a two dominant, a two seven. Okay. Um, and I'm going to kick it off, and we'll go be in an instrumental. We're playing an instrumental version of this. It does have words, but mostly, mostly it's just uh, picked. So I'll kick it off with taters. And we'll play it three times all the way. So me, you, me, you, me, you. And go ahead and tag it at the end. Why not? Okay, here we go. On Pretty Little Red Wing in the key of G. I'm kicking it off. Red Wing, fun, right? Just a fun tune. And that's one of those tunes you can play simple. Or decorated. 
included with scale notes, sequences, and, and little, little licks, fiddly stuff. Okay, how is everybody doing out there? I'm going to check in on our chats. Hello in Facebook land. Kristen Duncan's still. Thank you. Yeah, good luck with the old truck. I know. And there's a bunch of diesel. I know there's diesel lovers out there, and I love my truck, but oh my gosh, the maintenance on this thing has been unexpected. Hello, Roberta. Hello, Jim Wilson. Picking along on a 1947 triple o 18 in smith mountain lake virginia wow that sounds like a really nice guitar and yes i'd love to visit sometime hello david foster in connecticut thanks for jamming along it is snowing in connecticut that is good news we need that snow everywhere okay and here we go in uh, youtube channel hello joe dal 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 rimple dal rimple i hope i'm saying that right and Cool, thank you for being here on the slow jam and the mid-tempo. And of course, Sandy DeVera, you are back, picking along in Bakersfield. Hello, Blake Addison. Give a plug for Tuesday, Tuesday Acoustic Jam and the Ambets. Cool. In uh, Lithia Springs, Georgia. If you're in Lithia Springs, Georgia, join Blake at the jam. Sounds great. I hope you all are connected to your local jam communities because that's how you really do it. This is great. It's in the comfort of your own home. It's great practice, but of course, it's just a simulation. So get out and jam with others for sure. Hello, David S. Picking along in North Carolina right on. Hi, Brian Rivers. Back again. Haven't figured out how to escape Ohio. Ohio is a good state. I got lots of friends there. Uh, David S. Darkwing. The minor version of Red Wing. That sounds like fun. try that sometime and adaptive adaptive shredding on the in 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 Maryland on the Mando awesome and David Ohm sticking around for the mid-tempo and hello Tyler Van Valkenburg jumping in uh, jumping in at the mid to fast tempos as as Ty does okay great to see you all let's keep on moving we got uh, Nellie Kane, okay. So we'll go to the key of D here. I'm going to play this out of C position, as Charles Sattel would have on the old Hot Rise albums and performances, and I think Brian Sutton, when he plays with Hot Rise, does this out of C position as well. And of course, the original key and the key that Tim sings this in, Tim O'Brien, of course, who wrote the song. Uh, he, he does it up in E. I'm, I'm in D, just for ease of singing. So now they came. One and one, one and one, one six minor, five and a one. kickoff is going to be something like, I'll find a tempo and then I'll demonstrate. It's a good tempo right there. It might go something like one, two, three. playing the Hot Rise arrangement, 
I'd be just kind of laid out for that whole thing. The banjo and the mandolin have a cool little little part that they, they play that little kickoff together. And at the end of it, the guitar comes in with a that little signature Charles Sautel lick. So simple, so folky and wonderful. Um, so that's, of course, a fun option for the guitar players. Okay, so kick us off here on Nellie Kane in the key of D. One, two, one, two, three. change your mind. I need my cheat sheet for this. Let me uh, pull that up real quick. Uh, this is a good old song from Reno and Smiley, which I mostly know, but uh, I'm going to pull this up anyway to make sure I don't miss some words. Okay. And we are in the key of A, I believe. Sorry, I don't have a I don't have a printer accessible. So yep, maybe it'll change your mind. And the key of A. So so the original Reno and Smiley version does not do the flat seven. They just go one and one with a seven on it, like a G an A7. And four and four. 
five and five and one. Every other version I've heard, they add the flat seven because it's, it's implied by the vocals anyway. So whether or not you're playing the one flat seven, four, four, five, five and one, or one, one, four, four, it's going to sound like a flat seven anyway. So the bass player would be the defining instrument that would say, okay, no, it is a flat seven chord. So it's up to you. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and add the flat seven in uh, just so we hear really clearly how the uh, harmony goes in this song. So it goes. One flat seven, four and four, five and five and one. One flat seven, four and four, five. of course a duet throughout so if you know the words please sing the tenor part and it can go the kickoff can go something like one two three It's these two notes. That's what the lead is singing and that's what the tenor is singing. The third and the fifth of the A chord. Okay, so go ahead and kick us off here on Maybe You Will Change Your Mind in the key of A. One, two, one, two, three.
The other cool version of that is, is of course, from the Seldom Seen Old Train album. And there's a modulation in there somewhere. They go up a whole step. And John Duffy does the big, Someday we'll find. Um, I kind of do a, a bit of a quasi version of, of the Don Reno original, squeaking out that little high part. But that's just a cool song. And that, that Old Train Seldom Seen album is where I first heard the song. And, and it's just a... That whole album just puts me in in a beautiful place. I, I love that that record, and it has a real um, to me. It really ties into gorgeous like nature scapes. I don't know. I, that's the album I would put on if I was driving through the mountains or something. Uh, and that's part of why I love bluegrass. It's because it takes me outside. Okay, we still here. We still here on YouTube. Still here on Facebook. Very cool. Okay, next on the list. I'm gonna close that. Don't need that anymore. I don't need that either. We got Cattle and the Cane. Hey, I know that somebody requested this at some point, and uh, it's been a while since I played this tune. I, I recorded it. So I have a version. This is one of my championship flat picking contest tunes, but it's been quite a while and I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm not locked into that arrangement anymore. <clears throat> but, uh, but here's how it goes. It's an A modal uh, fiddle tune. I play it out of open A myself. So it's flat seven and five. the tune and what we'll do is I'll kick it off and let's play it three times through okay so me you me you me you and then you tag it at the end uh, let's see if this is a good tempo I'm gonna slow this down a little bit because this might be a new tune for many of you here we go cattle and the cane in the key of A
Okay. All right, you got me. I need to practice up on that one. Listen to my recording of that on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube, whatever. Listen, listen to the album version, and, uh, and hopefully you'll be a little more impressed than that rendition. I, uh, I put that on the set list intending to practice it, and I did not practice it. Uh, I'll bet you sounded great. Some of you, I'm sure, have awesome arrangements of Cattle and the Cane. And if you don't, that would be a good one to work on. Okay, moving on. Please come back, little pal, in the key of B-flat. I just love this song, and I've been, been, uh, been doing it a lot lately. The version of this that I know is from Keith Little. And he got it from some of those California singers. Um, and I cannot think of the singer's name. The... Some of you Northern California folks, Grass Valley style pickers probably know who, who this is I'm talking, I'm thinking of, but. Please fill me in if so, but Keith learned it from these folks. And I know that Keith Little, you know, came up playing with, uh, with Vern Williams. Um, and I don't think it was Vern who did it. Anyhow, I'm blanking on this. I'll, I will try to uh, conjure that up unless somebody chimes in with it. But anyway, I learned it from a Keith Little album called Distant Land of Rome. <laughs> It's on YouTube, but it's not on the other streaming platforms, unfortunately. But it's a great album to check out. Um, Keith Little, of course, from, uh, from California. He lived in Nashville a long time. He was in Ricky Skaggs and Kentucky Thunder there for a good bit. And you hear him singing harmony and playing guitar on lots of sessions. He was on the Dolly Parton Bluegrass albums and... Uh, and he was in the Peter Rowan group there for a while in recent years. Anyway, Keith Little is awesome, great singer, and he's the one I learned the song from, and it goes in B flat. One and one and a five. One five, five and one. One and one and four. And one and five and one. So that's the whole song. And my kickoff might go something like, let's see. One, two, three. off here on please come back a little pal in the key of B flat one two one two three I'm lost up to 
burn you Oh, please come back, little pal Please come and stay For my heart has withered like the petals Of a rose I saw dying today Me then you When I do this move every now and then you'll hear a knock and it's just because I'm smacking the guitar with my belt buckle and trying to be more careful about that. Okay, how are we doing? Are we still here? Facebook land. Hello, Michelle Ruiz in Edmonds, Washington. And over on YouTube, hello, Mike L. And Randy Smith, Brian Rivers, Dave Schmidt, Jeffrey Boyle. Donna Hargis playing bass. And uh, okay, thanks out y'all for being here. So on the list, let's see. There's one more song on the list. I think, yeah. I think there's actually, I usually do nine songs on mid tempo. It looks like I put eight down. And that might have been in uh, <laughs> uh, anticipation of maybe something going wrong. So, <laughs> so why don't we do this song and then, and then let's think of one more. Since we got plenty of time here, uh, we got about 40 minutes till the fast jam begins. So, so we got time for, for a couple more. But let's start here with leaving. A song written by Jack Toddle and uh, recorded by James King in the key B. One and one and one and a four Five and five, five and one One and one and one and a four Five and five, five and a one Okay. That's the whole song. And my kickoff might go something like, let's see here. Okay, I might go one, two, three. <laughs> one, two, three. I bet you're going to do a lot better. So go ahead and get ready to kick us off here on leaving in the key of B. One, two, one, two, three.
There is a third verse to that song, but I, but I can't remember it. I'll have to review that one. Okay, let's play one more. Why not? Let's, let's, let's hang out in the key of B here and do... Let's do... Let's see, what is not on the fast section? Let's do... Um, Let's do White Freight Liner Blues, because we usually play that blazing fast at the end of the fast jam, and, and many of us present here don't have an opportunity or, or, or don't do that. Um, so let's do, uh, let's do that. Uh, White Freight Liner Blues in B. A little bonus, bonus song. I don't, know, I don't know how many of you are counting the songs on the set list, but I, I do have a routine, and... Uh, and this one, uh, we, we, we left one song short this week. Uh, and just a reminder, uh, you know, um, this live stream exists in part due to a handful of generous donations. And there's lots of folks who play along who typically don't donate. And you know who you are and you should donate. Help each other out and help me out and we'll keep this thing going as best we can. Okay, you got the links there. That's my PSA for now. A uh, bunch of big stuff happening. Winter Wondergrass is this weekend in Steamboat. I'll be there handling the picking on the dead sets as usual and also doing lots of other things. Doing a set with Lindsay Liu and Kyle Tuttle and uh, the Winter Wondergrass All-Stars and we have a special River Wondergrass stage where we bring folks who have been on the river with us over the summers at Adrift. So that's a fun thing this weekend. Our, my gig at Whibby Brewing in Longmont, Colorado got postponed because one of our band members has the COVID. So that's going to be the following Friday after Winter Wondergrass, March 10th. And then I've got a big project that I'm going to do that we'll be announcing shortly. And it will uh, probably get the attention of all you guitar players, and I won't say more than that, but it's an exciting thing that I'll be working on that'll probably be out a little bit later uh, this coming spring. Okay, so White Freightliner Blues. Usually I'm up around like 150 plus when we do this in the Fast Jam. Let's see how it goes at 120. This is usually the fastest we go in mid-tempo. And this is usually where the fast jam begins. So, White Freightliner Blues. It's a blues in B that starts on the four chord. So, one, two, three, to the four and four and four and four and one. Four and four and four and four and one. begins on the one, the, the tonic of the key, even though it's the four chord. That's your melody note, so make sure you target that note over the four chord. It's the, it's the, it's the fifth note of the four chord, um, but it's the one of the key. And that's where your melody begins, okay? So kick us off here on White Freight Liner Blues at a nice reasonable tempo here tonight in the key of B. One, two, one, two, three. Why? 
Mexico ain't bad, Lord. People there, they treat you kind. New Mexico ain't bad, Lord. People there, they treat you kind. Why, freight liner, won't you steal away my mind? I've got it. Yes, it's bad news from Houston. Half of my friends are dying. Why, great liner, won't you steal away my mind? Play. Going out on the highway, listen to them big truck Why? Why, pray, liner, won't you steal away my mind? Come on, why, pray, liner, won't you steal away my mind? Why, pray, liner, won't you steal away my Okay. Thanks, everybody. I will see you in uh, 25 minutes, quarter past the hour for the fast jam. Much love. See you then.